Hello fellas, this is my new project, a portable workshop. This time I spent a lot of extra time in the design phase because I decided to upload the videos as soon as I record them. So I hope everything fits. I wanted to keep it as small as possible for those of you that don't have so much space and your Canon tools share the same place. It has wheels so it can be moved by only one person and you can even carry it in your car with a little help to get it in of course. As you can see it used three of my tools and you can use it as a saw table, router and scroll saw. It also has a big cabinet so you can carry some of your other tools with you. And this is how I made it. Let's start cutting the parts following the cutting list and mark them all with data numbers. I am making the four drill holes for the handle and cutting it with the jigsaw. Make a drill with the same depth as the thickness of the washer for the opening system. Counter sink the drill holes. It is where the power and emergency switches go. Now you can start assembling the cabinet using 15mm screws and dowels.
It is not necessary, but you can apply the cut of locker if you want for a better finish and durability. Here I'm cutting the three top parts. Then cut and drill the frames for the hinge covers. Make the holes for the steel pipe so it fits slightly loose, as it is the axis of rotation of the hinge covers. I made a milling for the circular saw in the 3D router. If you don't have a similar tool, you can do it with a manual router using guides or templates. Here I'm making a milling on the top of the quick access covers, which will make easier changing the disc. You can use the cover itself to calibrate the depth of the milling. Try the circular saw in place and mark the drills to attach it to the top of the table. The 3D router comes in very handy here, as the column drill won't work because of its reduced workspace.